Welcome to your online orientation. Today we're going to take a tour of your online learning portal, otherwise known as Blackboard. After this tour, you should have enough knowledge of Blackboard to get you started. From within Student Hub, Student Central, navigate to Learning Portal Blackboard to log into Blackboard. From within the login page, sign in with your student email and your student email password. Then click on sign in. If you've forgotten your password, click on can't access your account. If you're having trouble logging in and need more information or help, click on I need help logging in. Now that we are logged in, we are looking at your student homepage. On the left hand side, you'll have your subjects that you are enrolled into. And on the right hand side, you'll have key study resources and other key study resources outside of Blackboard. Along the top, you'll have your home tab, student resources and student help. Let's start with the home page, shall we? Under key study resources, we have academic skills. From within academic skills, you can be taken out to the academic skills website where you can get help with completing those assignments. Navigating back to Blackboard, under how to use Blackboard, we have learning with technology. Learning with technology is your how to section that will teach you how to use Blackboard. There is videos and PDF guides where you can work at your own pace, watching the videos and reading through the material so you know how to use the various tools within Blackboard. Navigating back to our home page, further down we have other key resources. One to mention is your library. Your library website is a wealth of information for you to complete your assignments. You can look up journal articles, ebooks, peer review material, or even full text online. Navigating back to our home page, let's now click into one of our subjects, shall we? Once you click into one of your classes, the first thing you may see is your subject overview. Within subject overview, an important document to mention is your subject outline. Your subject outline will cover detailed information about the particular subject. Navigating back to Blackboard, under subject overview, we have my dashboard. These are updates that are happening within the class under what's new, and then you also have announcements. Your learning facilitator will be posting any new updates for the class within announcements. You'll get an email notification whenever there is a new announcement. Other forms of communication within your learning portal are my class message. My class message is for activity where you might have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your learning facilitator or you might be doing a group assessment and need to contact your peers. Simply click on create message, two, find the person that you wish to speak to, pop them into the recipient box, put in your subject line, compose your message and attach any relevant documentation and then click submit. Your message will then be sent to the person and they will get a notification again to their student or staff email that a message has been sent. Other forms of communication within your learning portal is your discussion board. The discussion board is where you'll go to interact with your whole class. Now you might have a question or there might be an activity that your learning facilitator would like you to complete. Familiarise yourself with your discussion board Clicking into the activity, you can click on the reply button and you can also create your own threads. For each of your forums, we recommend that you subscribe and that way you'll get a notification to your email to jump into Blackboard whenever there is a new unread post on one of the forums. Other forms of communication include Collaborate Ultra. This is your virtual classroom. This is where you'll go to attend your subject sessions, much like how face-to-face -face students would go into a classroom to attend their classes. What you're looking at now is the sessions dashboard. 
So when your learning facilitator posts your virtual classroom links, they will be located under your sessions dashboard. You also have a drop down menu where you can view upcoming or previous sessions as well as sessions in a date range. If you don't see the session links for your virtual classrooms, contact your learning facilitator as they may be posted in various other locations within the class. If you happen to miss one of your online classes, they will be recorded most times and to find your recordings, click on the menu for Collaborate, click on Recordings and you'll now be in the Recordings dashboard. So any recordings or recording links will be posted here. You also have a drop down menu where you can look at recordings from a date range from the recordings dashboard as well. Navigating to the left hand class menu, we then have modules. Modules is where you will go to find all the information you need to learn about the subject so that you complete your assignments. It will be broken up into various reading material and there may also be learning activities for you to complete. Be sure to stay on top of all of your module reading and gain a full understanding of each topic before you move on to the next module. Whilst working on your assessment tasks, it is recommended that you use SafeAssign. SafeAssign is your originality checking tool that helps you detect originality in your work. Watch the video, read the PDF and familiarise yourself with how to use SafeAssign. Let's navigate now to the assessment area. Within the assessment area, you have an assessment table which lists what assignments you have and when they are due. Directly below, you'll have your assessment folders. Once I click into my assessment folder, I will be able to locate my assessment brief. Now it's important to note for this example, I'm looking at a case study, but assignments will come in all different forms. You might have a discussion board assignment, a wiki, a blog, a journal, or even a digital assessment, and they're all going to look different. So make sure that you watch the video which guides you through how to submit your assessment. And while you're working through this information, if you need further support on your draft assignment before you submit, we also have Studiosity. Studiosity is 24 seven on demand help by study experts and tutors. There is a video located here that will give you more information on Studiosity. And you can also look on our academic skills website for detailed information on Studiosity. Navigating back to the assessment area and into our assessment folder, let's jump into the submission point and take a closer look. You would scroll down and either browse your local files or browse cloud storage for your assessment task. All compatible files are listed here for you. Upload all documents that you need and as the final step, click submit. All submissions are final. If you need extra help or support, at the top of your page next to the Home tab, we have Student Resources, and next to that we have Student Help. Student Help is for your Blackboard support. If you have any questions with Blackboard, simply click on Create, fill in the details of your Blackboard question or query, upload any screenshots you might have and click Submit, and a member from the Blackboard team will get back to you as soon as possible. Alternatively, back on our support page, under have a general question, we have FAQs. These are common questions asked by students and the answers. That concludes today's learning portal overview.